the sun's bright in my eyes. Um, today we're going to Gibraltar. It's about an hour away from where I stay in Puerto Benutz and I can actually see it from the apartment balcony on clear days. Um, Gibraltar's not all that big, it's got a load of history. I'm going to park up on this side, on the Spanish side, in my little Kia Picanto that I picked up from Marbasol and walk across and just go for a wander. And so it took me about 40 minutes to get there along the A7 and I parked right up at the top on the Spanish side, um, just on the side of the road and then walked across. Um, there's a really big queue of cars to get in there. Um, you'd be there for at least an hour, at least an hour. And it was longer by the time it was coming out. So if you're coming in by car, there's quite a long queue that goes all the way around here, all the way up there in a big zigzag, probably about half a mile, three quarters of a mile. It's a Sunday morning as well, so it might not even be all that busy. And it filters you into this, and this is the uh, actual crossing area. So I expect that there'll be passport control to stamp you out, because you know, you get stamped in. Thank you, Brexit. And uh, get stamped in, and then you get stamped out, and then do the reverse. I've just parked up about a quarter of a mile just up the road there come across and come and have a you know a cup of tea and a bit of a wander around uh the rock's quite impressive you know it's fairly chunky i suspect it's limestone but um yeah i'm gonna switch my camera off because i know they get a little bit fussy about having cameras on in passport control areas well that took about five minutes a little bit longer than i expected um because there was only one guy and you have to get your passport stamped and it's a Sunday morning. Um, and there you are, through into Gibraltar. So the main rock is limestone riddled with tunnels that were uh, made for military purposes since uh, the Brits got it in the 1700s. I started out at the, at the top Grand Casement Square, I've got a little vid there, and then went down the high street. My expectation was, was that it was going to be very British and there'd be lots of Union Jacks and Kiss Me Quick, you know, hats. And, and it's not like that at all. It's very European. Um, there's a few high street, British high street shops. There's a, a Morrison's and there's a Marks and Spencer's and a Mothercare. This is Grand Casement Square. And you go from there south down the uh, main street, which you can see in a second. Um, it's really nice, actually, quite pleasant. Um, has, a, has a gentle Spanish vibe to it, but it's not like a regular Spanish town. Um, the architecture is kind of English, like Georgian. Unless you were specifically looking out, you wouldn't know that it was a, a UK territory. This is the, uh, that's the governor's house. And then I turned round and, and walked back up the other way. There's one or two pubs, but they're, they're not like British pubs. They're more like kind of cafes. It's actually quite pleasant. So behind me here is the main Gibraltar airfield and there's only one airport and this is the main strip. The road in and out of Gibraltar goes across it so they close it down. You can just hear the jet taking off now. Ready? There you go, that's your easy jet Gibraltar flight. Landing in Gatwick in two hours. Oh, no. So I'm on the main runway where that uh, easy jet plane just took off and uh, behind me is the rock. <clears throat> you probably can't see it, but there's uh, gun embrasures all the way, kind of parallel across it. I'm going to come back and do it properly in a few months time and come over on my bike and go for a wander around. What I want to see is some of those secret passages. I don't know whether you read about the one where they were going to brick up a couple of um, British kind of guys for surveillance purposes um, in a secret area kind of off the side of the rock. The, uh, there was a lot of duty free there so if you're into your perfumes and fragrances and booze and fags then you can get it cheap across the high street and then just walked across and got um, stamped out again and then was back here in Puerto Benoos within 40 minutes along the, uh, the AP7. Worth going to and I'll probably go back in summer on my bike and 
have a wander through those tunnels. Thanks for joining. Like, subscribe. Do leave a comment and we'll catch up soon.